the slug. What is it about this member of the final Alaska that ignites our storm and keeps us up at night wondering what damage they were doing to our healthy plants and vegetables? This soft-bodied invertebrate is usually found in mulch beds, under boards, rocks, and stones that survives on plants, fungi, and decaying organic matter. Now, the question. Would you like to sleep sometime this week without those nightmares? If the answer is yes, then welcome to Gastropod, the final showdown. This video will assist you through the building of an electrified slug fence for the raised garden beds. The following is a list of tools and supplies required for this project. PVC strip curtains, 6 inch width, 75 100 foot lengths. We ordered these online. Copper wire, 12 gauge, solid core, ever ready 9 volt dry cell battery number 276, an electrical box for windproofing the battery, a hammer for tacking staples, pliers, both regular and needle nose, tape measure, a utility knife, a voltage meter, a tube of silicone for weatherproofing the electrical box, wire connectors, three position ballast disconnects with or without the six inch leads, wood screws. You might also want to purchase a pro staple gun. We purchased the Arrow T50BN. Make sure you get the T50 staples. And of course, screwdrivers, both flat and Phillips. For those with steady hands, go ahead and skip this, although you too could benefit from making a six inch PVC cutter, which you can tell by the length there, it's the, the width of the strip is six inches, and just pull it through and cut it, uh, like so. We purchased the 100 foot lengths uh, as we have three beds, so that pretty much gave us 200 feet. Uh, was, well, more than enough that we needed. In affixing the base PVC to the boards, you want to make sure it's taut, but do not stretch it because I found that it is easily stretched. Here we are laying the first line of copper. You want to make sure it's pretty much in the middle of the PVC. And here we're laying down the second one, the second uh, terminal, and I want to make sure it's within half an inch to an inch of the first line. We're putting in the battery here and make sure that the battery sits comfortably and that the the leads are truly affixed to inside the uh, battery. Um, I'm making holes in the electrical box here so we put the leads in. And we have a perfect fit. Uh, make sure that battery sits properly in there. And the leads uh, are still finely uh, attached. And now we're going to check the leads one time for make sure the, the line is hot. Now we're securing the electrical box to the board here and applying silicone around the outside of the box and the board. Plus, you might want to get the two contacts so it'd help just weatherproof. So you get no precipitation in there.
finished. One more box down. This is for those who really want to go through the school of hard knocks and waste batteries. Do not put silicone on the batteries because uh, the silicone is dielectric and it will pass, is also condu conductive. And what I meant to say is conductive and it will pass the charge through the material to glue the leads and it will short out. So anyways, we have finished electrical box here. The negative and positive terminals are not touching anywhere. You want to very make sure that even the staples, make sure that none of the staples are, are contaminating your line here. We have the uh, three position ballast disconnects. So you can just disconnect it at the end of the season. I'm not using the battery. And what we have here is a, a second bed that was done earlier. And now we're going to have the test. And we shall see if this truly works. go for it. He's on the first line and oh there he goes. Oh he got he got a good one there. Slugs, I guess just like some people are stubborn. Oh there it goes again, got a little neck. But not enough to really tell him what time it is. Uh, you think, well, I don't know. I still didn't learn my lesson here, so. Um, Scores two and two. Oh, uh, well, called out, called out, called out a ball. This guy is just not going to give up until he can get up and get some of that produce. He smells it. I think he's going to make one last ditch effort here. And we shall see. He's noticed the select boy is totally on the first line now, on the negative terminal. He, he got zapped again and he's out for the count. There's the proof. And I hope you have many seasons of healthy produce.